Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Air Force pilots undergoes three stages of training. The first stage is performed on a fleet of 75 Swiss Pilotus PC-7 MK2 turboprop trainers. It is planned to be replaced with indigenous basic trainer HAL HTT-40. The second stage is intermediate jet training, which is conducted on HL Kiran Mark I and Mark IIs. It is an Indian two-seat intermediate jet-powered trainer aircraft designed and manufactured by HL. The third stage is an advanced jet trainer, which is conducted on BAE Systems Hawk MK132 advanced jet trainers. The HL Kiran jets have been training for almost 50 years. Indian Air Force is currently operating 87 and Navy 20 Kiran jets. However, the aging fleet of Kiran gave birth to indigenous intermediate jet trainer called Hindustan Jet Trainer HJT-36 Sitara. In addition to clearing the HJT-36 as an airborne trainer, HL will also have to offer a complete simulation-based training solution for the IJT to match the Indian Air Force infrastructure already set up for its PC-7 Mark II and Hawk fleets. Talking about HJT-36, it is going to be a subsonic intermediate trainer jet designed and developed by HL's Aircraft Research and Development Center. It is a conventional jet trainer with low swept wings and small air intakes for the engine on either side of its fuselage. The HJT-36 has a conventional tandem two-seat configuration with a trainee pilot forward and instructor in the raised seat to the rear. The single-piece canopy gives both pilot all-round good vision. The trainer features both conventional and manual flight controls to the pilot. It will feature full glass cockpit with a layout similar to the current generation combat aircraft. The trainer features an integrated digital avionics system from GE Aviation Systems and heads-up display and repeater from Elbit system. IGT is going to be powered by Russian AL-55I NPO Saturn jet engine produced in-house at engine division Korapot of HAL. The engine can generate a thrust of 17 kN. It helps the trainer to achieve the maximum speed of Mach 0.75 and G limit of plus 7 to minus 2.5. HJT-36 has a thrust to weight ratio of greater than 5. Besides training, this aircraft can also be used for light strike or armed reconnaissance role. It has impressive 5 external hard points for weapons training. There is one centerline hard points under fuselage and two weapon pylons under each wing for carrying rockets gun parts and bombs. The maximum external payload is 1000 kg. HL started a design work on intermediate jet trainer back in 1997 as a successor of HJT-16 Kiran. Two years later, HL was awarded a contract for development, testing and certification of two prototype of the IJT aircraft. The first and second prototype of the HJT-36 flew on 7th March 2003 and March 2004 respectively. The development of indigenous IJT was not a smooth sail and was full of roller coaster ride. The program faced delays by two years due to the late delivery of NPO Saturn engine from Russia. Later, two accidents in February 2007 and in February 2009 involving each of the prototypes grounded the aircraft for repair and investigation. After further development and extensive testing, the Indian Air Force placed an order for 73 aircraft. The aircraft entered limited seas production in 2009 for the batch of first 12 aircrafts. By the time, IJT has already completed sea level trials, night flying trials, high altitude trials, as well as weapon and drop tank trials. However, in order to receive the FOC or final operational clearance, the trainer was to demonstrate stall characteristic and spin testing. In 2016, IJT program almost stalled over prototype's unsatisfactory spin testing characteristic when aircraft departed from controlled flight. 
The issues were linked to the platform's critical stall and spin characteristic to provide trainee pilots with greater maneuverability. The IGT Sitara was to remain unfit for service as an intermediate jet trainer until these issues were to be resolved. HL had to resort to major modification in the aircraft like shifting the vertical tail aft on the airframe and increasing the rudder area to correct its spin characteristic. In April 2019, Sitara flew for the first time in three years with a modified airframe. On 6 January 2022, IGT successfully demonstrated the capability to carry out six-turn spin to the both left-hand and right-hand sides. With this milestone achieved, now aircraft will go for certification. HL has performed several test flights before carrying out the six-turn spin flights, marking the beginning of a resolution to a problem that plagued the program since 2016. As per HL, the aircraft will require another two years of testing, after which it will be ready for induction. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.